Hello, movie lovers, and welcome to CML Theater Movie Review, home of independent films. I'm extremely pissed off. Y'all is definitely about to find out. 2017 already, even though I know it's still January, y'all. But this has been one painful-ass January. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting y'all. I'm about to call y'all up. I'm about to find out all y'all information so I can see all the information to the location of my stage. I'm going to have the band start up, and I hang myself. I bullshit you not. <laughs> I cannot take this shit no more. And we're about to talk about this film right now here on CML Theater Movie Review. <laughs> Sadako versus Kayako. Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin it at this point because, like, I'm just fucking about to lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like overboard. I'm just tired. But okay, the, the movie was directed by Koji Shiryashi, um, written by Takashi Shimzu and Koji Suzuki. All the hype. Everyone's blowing me up on Twitter. They're like, check out Sadako versus Kayako. <laughs> I had a better chance. Of watching Baba Man and giving that shit an Emmy Award. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, listen. The movie starts off with this young lady. Um, it's it's her and her friend, and you know they in they in class because I think they go to like this university or whatever. I don't think it's university. They go to this like college, and um, this guy is teaching, you know, the urban teaching them about the urban legends and and how spirits, you know, that people truly believe them to the point where if they put it in their head, they truly start to believe that these you know, entities is this. So they threw an Easter egg right in there because I don't know if you're familiar with the um the slip face woman, but that movie was creepy as shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like when that woman smile and you see all those like you see how like her shit is slit all the way up to her ear, like freakier than staring at the Joker in the Batman the Batman movies with um the recent you know that recent Batman movie that uh uh Chris Nolan did that some creepy shit but some awesome makeup effects and she got these big ass scissors i mean children shouldn't even watch that movie that's a one creepy ass film it will freak you the fuck out the slit face woman so they also show the tape which is you know that that is the the ring chick and you got um let that's the daco and then um you, they also show the house that shows um which that relates to you know kayako and the two girls, um, they have to. They wanted to study up on this thing, so they had like a VHS tape. So they went out to go get a VHS tape. So they braced the V. I'm not went out to get the VHS system at the pawn shop, which is that that VHS was dirty as shit. <laughs> I the one girl was like, I don't want to ever touch that again. So they the mother put, popped the tape in, so this really dirty ass tape pops out, and so the one girl looks at it, and her friend's like, No, no, please don't play it. One of that's a tape. What if that's the tape? I don't want to watch that because I don't want to get cursed. So the one girl just, just consistent on pushing the shit in and playing the damn tape. And the next thing you know, her friend ended up watching it while she gets sidetracked with a fucking text message. <laughs> I really felt sorry for the friend. It's like, damn, it's always the friend. It's always the one that you like the most or the one that's most likely to get fucked up. So it always happens like that. So now, you know, she, she starts to see, you know, she starts to see Kayako. No, not Kayako, Sadako. She started, because there's sometimes the names, man. She started to see Sadako. So, you know, you know, of course, y'all know the premise. I don't need to break all this shit down. Y'all know how this works. You watch the damn tape, she stick a finger up your ass. And then you got the other one. If you walk into her house, she sticks the finger up her ass with a cat. So y'all already know what's going to happen with that situation. So, to sum all this shit up, okay? If you're going to do a versus movie, if you're going to do, you know, The Ring versus The Grudge or Sayako versus Kayako... I mean, you got to bring that shit. That shit got to be brought. Yeah. You know, these are two serious ass entities. So if you take one, if you take both of them and put them in the same room, they're not from the same background, not at all. No. So nine times out of ten, you know, if anybody walks inside the Grudge House, y'all already know what the fuck the business is. I don't give a shit if Freddy walks in this chick's house. He's getting fucked up. <laughs> Ain't no question about that. Ain't no nobody lives walking into this woman's house. So the way the fight was just. It was just so bullshitted. It was just so it bullshitted. Was just I, I, it was fast. It was over with. And it was. It's more like he go. Okay, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, let's team up. <sighs> no, you can't do that. 
You can't do that. Like same with like when you saw Freddy versus Jason, right? Y'all knew the hype. Y'all knew the hype ever since uh, Jason goes to hell. And when Freddy grabbed his damn mask, everybody was so hyped up about that. People talked about that for years and years and years to the point it became legendary and people did not let it die till it actually came true. Now, I don't give a shit. Now, in the movie, it's not something that you want to take serious. It's not like, you know, when you saw Freddy vs. Jason, you didn't take it serious. You just understood. You knew. You instantly know who Freddy is. You know what Jason is. You know where they both come from. You know both of the background. You know how many motherfuckers they killed. You know everything about them. So fuck everybody else that's in the movie. You don't even care about them. You don't even care about the extra characters. You just want to see them get it on. Let's get ready to rumble. You want to see that. You know, you're ready to see some shit. And you saw that. You clearly saw that. When they brought Freddy back and he got there and he was in that cabin. And that shit was crazy. You know, things got real. And that's the part that I mostly liked about that film. Is that when they saw each other and he was freaked out. Because you know Freddy always freak out every time that he comes back. You know, he know that he's going to feel some real fucking pain. So it's not like it is when he's in a dream world. And Jason, you know, he took us, um, Jason took a swing at him and he missed. And then he took Freddy's little ass and threw him through that window and rammed him through the whole fucking house. And then threw his ass in the woods. And then after that, they were just going at it back to back. Slasher after slasher. Shit was real. And that's what I loved about it. They brought it. Same with Alien vs. Predator. When you saw that, awesome. They brought it. This shit. <laughs> like one time, I, I liked was, the part when she dragged him like, through the house. I mean, dragged him in the back. Now, that part was hard. Now, I like, now I'm not going to lie. I like the, their first. Their first. This does yeah, contain spoilers. So, if you have not, if you don't want to hear about the movie, turn away right now. This contains big ass spoilers. I love when they first looked at when they first was approaching each other, and I love how the how the grudge rolled up on her ass, <laughs> how Kayako rolled up on Sadako, and and snatched her ass in the hole, and that was cool. I like that. I like how that went. But then I also like how Sadako, you know, I mean Kayako. Damn it, man! It's y'all know what I'm talking about. I like how the grudge, <laughs> the ring chick, took her hair and shoved it in her mouth and shoved it in her eyes. And I, I like how they kept that, like how they kept that spiritually. Just to that one moment right there, it could have like I, I wish somebody could have slammed somebody, took the VCR and cracked the other person over the head, <laughs> and then they beat each other head on the toilet or somebody tried to drown somebody. Like I wanted them to fuck that house up. I was really expecting a real fight. And it turned out I really got disappointed. And the way the movie ended was just like, okay, okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the movie. Fuck you. Goodbye. <laughs> and that's how it ended. And I was like, that's it? What the fuck happened? Like, I'm so mad. And like, oh, my God, yo, I'm sorry to talk so long in this review. Fucking Resident Evil. <laughs> Don't get me started. Resident Evil was so poorly... Edit it, man. I, I, I uh, <laughs> no words. This is all you see. Like I, I'm gonna just play with y'all a bit. Like this is what you see. Like you'll see one minute. You'll see something. You'll go. It'll go like this. <laughs> you couldn't see shit. And I was like, to the point where I'm like, who hit who? Who died? Who flipped and got hit by the pole? I heard the shit. But I couldn't see it. And I was just so angry. And I was just like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. Oh. Poor baby. I give this movie a big ass disappointment. Oh, no. And don't get me wrong, y'all. Like, there are moments in this movie that I like. I did like a couple moments in this movie. I like with the little, the little shits. Go up into the house. The little kids, little badass kids, try to go to the house, and they dared this young man to go inside this house. And I like that scene. I like how that scene pan out. I mean, you can't go wrong with the the original way of how they kill people, but when you emerge them together, man, that's like some clash. That's some titan shit. You can't bullshit that. You you gotta bring it. You can't half step that. You gotta bring that all the way. And I was just like really disappointed. I, you know, I was hoping maybe because my hopes were a little high. I mean, I also like this other guy that remind you of John Constantine. Like, I thought he was pretty awesome, and the the young lady that was with him, I thought them them two as a duo was pretty good because yeah, she could see things, and he is able to just remove spirits and things like that. And I thought that was awesome. You know, there are things that like about about this movie, but overall, I didn't. That's not what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the goddamn fight. <laughs> the fight lasts for one second. One, two. That was it. 
it was over. That's it. Man, I mean, if y'all want to still check this movie out, you can check this movie out on Shutter, right? Yeah. You can check this film out on Shutter. They made a um a version for it, so instead of you sitting there suffering through the subtitles, they made a version where you can actually they made an English version for it, so you will be able to understand the film. And it just wasn't working for me. I, it it wasn't doing it for me at all. I I I'm gonna just pass on this one. <laughs> I already did the suffering for you. So if you still want to see it, be my guest. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Sadako versus Kayako. Because I already told you what I thought about it. I, I was disappointed. I wanted to see blood flying. I want to see body get slammed to tables. People get hit in the head with VCR tapes. <laughs> I wanted to see him go at it. And it just didn't happen. And I'm just so sad about that. And Resident Evil and... It's not even evil anymore. It's just resident. And it shouldn't even be resident. But the game is awesome, though. Check the game out. But the movie? Hell no. Um, I don't know what else to say, y'all. I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. Uh, uh, this is 2017. We already run into a whole bunch of shit movies. But Split was good, though. Split was yeah. the shit. And I will see that any day. M. Night, you fucking made a comeback. Good for you, buddy. Keep on doing those movies like you're doing it. If y'all want to see that movie, check out Split. If you want to see a good-ass movie, check Split out. Fuck everything else. And to all my movie lovers, I love you. <laughs>